Good morning, everyone. My name is Kate Walsh. I'm the hospital president. I'm taking the unusual step of doing a quick two minute video to let you know how our COVID preparedness is moving along. I, as you, those of you who know me know that two minutes is a pretty tight time frame for me to say anything. So I thought I'd focus on one thing, which is the work we're doing to keep our employees as safe as possible. You'll notice three specific items that we've taken today. The first is uh, many of our colleagues are working from home. I wanna thank them for doing that. Um, anyone who can work uh, remotely is doing that to observe appropriate social distance, which we know will be critical to uh, flattening the curve for this pandemic. The second thing we're doing is making sure that those patients who come to our campus absolutely need to be here. We've reviewed all our clinic OR and procedure schedules and have uh, figured out other alternative ways to take care of those patients, whether it's through telehealth or a phone call or deferring an appointment. We, are, we really reduce the clinical traffic on this campus and we think that will uh, also be important. And then finally, for those people who do need to come into our hospital, we are screening them on their way in. And that is a really important uh, part of our ability to keep everybody safe. We are also limiting visitors very significantly. I know that's challenging for some families. Please use your, your judgment as, uh, as that uh, policy unfolds because patients are quite uh, concerned about that. Uh, finally, uh, all of us are working to conserve personal protective equipment or PPE as it's known so that we uh, have what we need so that when we are taking care of more COVID-19 patients, we have the equipment um, and supplies that we need to keep our patients um, and our staff safe. I really want to thank you for all of the uh, great ideas and work that you've done uh, over the past weeks and weekends and nights and evenings to uh, get us ready for uh, what we know is going to be a very challenging time for our healthcare system. Thank you.